The 1950s Lifestyles and Social Trends Overview The 1950s was an era of great upheaval in the United States. By the millions, Americans who had just survived two decades of economic depression and war left the cities for the greenery and open spaces of the suburbs. With these instant communities came a new American lifestyle that included suburban malls, fast food restaurants, TV dinners, drive-in movies, and an oversized, gas-guzzling car in every gara. The decade was a time in which the roles within the ideal American family were clearly defined. The father was the breadwinner. Five days a week, 50 weeks a year, he donned his gray flannel suit, hopped into his car or on a commuter train, and headed off to earn money to support his wife, his ever-growing family. Meanwhile, his little woman remained home and raised the kids. Life was simple and ordered, and the cornerstone of society was authority. If there's one thing humans like to do, it's label ourselves and one another. Sometimes those labels, applied to vast numbers of people, are obviously laudatory. Children in the 1950s had very different lives to young people today. Most left school much earlier, with many starting work at 14, and far fewer people had the chance to go on to further education. The after-effects of the Second World War were still ongoing. For instance many goods were still being rationed in the early 1950s. Sugar was rationed until 1953, and meat only came off ration a year later. Ordinary families had little spare money for treats like cinema trips and holidays. Before most homes had televisions, people spent their spare time listening to the radio or reading the newspaper. They played board games rather than computer games, and in place of the selection of fast food outlets we have to choose from, they had a takeaway away from the local fish and chip shop. The 1950s family home was also very different from our own. Housework was much more difficult, as for example people did their washing by hand, instead of in a machine. And with refrigerators being a luxury item for most people, food had to be bought daily. It was less common for married women to work and many took on the childcare and housework, while their husbands went to work. In the 1950s, more and more households received electricity. Some families were already able to afford a refrigerator, a freezer, or even a dishwasher. A considerable time saver for housewives was the purchase of smaller appliances, such as blenders or toasters. At the same time, many machines with crank handles, like bread slicers, were still in use. The Copenhagen Frequency Plan was adopted in 1948. It regulated the assignment of radio frequencies in Germany. Since the four occupied zones were allotted only a few medium wave frequencies, German stations began broadcasting on ultra short wave USW. There were 25 USW stations in the Federal Republic of Germany in 1951 and 103 by 1954. There were 25 USW stations in the Federal Republic of Germany in 1951 and 103 by 1954. In 1952, when radio broadcasting was still under Allied control, television programs, which had been broadcast in Germany before World War II, began to be broadcast regularly in East and West Germany, while several million American citizens were already the proud owners of a television set. Only 11,658 receivers were registered with the Bundespost in Germany. Programming was broadcast daily for two hours. There were also special broadcasts, like the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II in 1953 and the World Cup in 1954. Those less well-off were able to watch these events mostly in restaurants and public houses. The World Cup in particular encouraged the acceptance of television, as did the increase in the number of transmitting stations within the German TV network, the ARD. Color television, available in the USA since 1954, was not introduced to Germany until 1967. So those who have lived like in the 1950s, they were lucky and compared to countless generations of youth who came before, all over the world. In that sense, maybe they were the luckiest generation, after all. 